Hi, this is Michael, and I'm reviewing the Snark Clip-On Guitar Tuner. This is a chromatic guitar tuner, and it is quite fantastic. I'll just show you the box here. It's very cool. It is very fast. It has a full-color display. You can place it anywhere on the front or back of the headstock. Uh, the display rotates 360 degrees, works for right or left-handed players. It has a very grippy stay-put clip. It also has a metronome function and a transpose feature and a pitch calibration from 415 to 466 hertz. So let me open this package and show you exactly what you get. So here is the Snark unit itself. And then there is also a battery, which you do need to put in the device. And you get a uh, instruction sheet here, and also there's a warranty form. So this is the Snark device. It has a very nice, firmly spring-loaded clamp here, and this articulates. And uh, then there is a swivel here. And you can rotate the display 360 degrees. So when you put this on your headstock, uh, you'll be able to rotate this and get it in just the perfect position for you to see it. It turns on by a simple press of the button. And uh, also the battery compartment and the controls on the back are right here. So the battery compartment, this slides open. You place the 2032 uh, CR2032 battery in there. Snap it back in. Uh, this is the tap metronome feature on the side here, and then this is the uh, pitch calibration button here. And default is A, 440 hertz, and when you turn it on, it doesn't do anything. But if you just happen to have a tuning fork like I do, put it right on here, and there you go. That proves that this is right on, dead on. It's in tune when the green line and the green dot are lit. Anything in the red is flat, anything in the yellow would be sharp. So I'm going to put this on a guitar and show you a real life example of how it works. Alright, before I put this on the guitar, I'm just going to walk you through the function. So to turn the snark on, you just push the button once and you've got a nice multicolor display. On the top left here, uh, this is the metronome or BPM button. You push that one time and it defaults to 100 BPM and then the red heart flashes at 100 BPM. To adjust that, uh, you would just use the up or down buttons on the back. So if we want to adjust that to 105, for instance, just push it till you get to 105. Um, the range on that is from 40 to 250 beats per minute. And if you want to do it manually, you can just uh, hear the beat and then just push the button according to what you're listening to, and it will display the beat. Uh, if you need to refine that, you, again, you can just use the plus or minus button on the back. The other nice feature is if you use a capo on your guitar, this button on the right here has a little flat indicator uh, at the bottom. I think you can see that. Um, so each push of that will give you an indication of one two or three or four flats at the bottom of the screen here. That's depending on what fret you have your capo on. And then once you've got that set, you can continue to use the snark to tune your guitar just as normal. It compensates for your capo position, so that's kind of cool. So um, the display has a battery saving feature, and you can set that. Uh, uh, it automatically sets. It'll automatically turn off after 10 seconds of inactivity and then after two minutes it will turn the unit off completely. Every once in a while the snark goes through sort of an automatic diagnos diagnostic mode so you don't really uh, need to worry about the display freaking out once in a while. It doesn't mean it's defective, it's just doing its thing. So um, here's my guitar. A little bit out of tune so we're going to tune this up for you. So we'll just go with the E can see that we're quite flat on the E. So we just, uh, yellow is sharp, red is flat, green is spot on. Flat again on the A.
So there you have it. That is the Snark. I think for the price, it's really uh, almost an unbeatable bargain. Uh, just the one note of concern is that some people have commented that the the tabs that hold the ball into the socket have cracked. Uh, I can definitely see that happening, particularly if you're not careful careful with the snark. Uh, it's a little bit fragile in that area, so you just need to be careful. But I think under normal use, you won't have any problem whatsoever. But if you weren't paying attention and you whipped around and you smacked this on a music stand or something, I can definitely see how that could snap one of those tabs off. But at the price point, it's really very reasonably priced. Um, I've got a couple of these. I think it's just awesome. If you have any questions about the snark, just give me a comment and I'll answer it if I can. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Have a great day.